Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on creating perforated or mesh materials in V-Ray for Rhino. I'm going to be using this simple courtyard scene here where we've got a tree in the middle of this courtyard and this blue screen here I'm going to be applying my mesh material to. Now currently if I render it out we've just got this white material on there and that's what we're going to be applying our kind of perforated or our mesh material to that white screen. Now to start with I'm going to create a perforated metal material and you can find some good examples of this on textures.com. I'll put a link to this in the description and we've got this metal grid texture here. Now I'm not actually going to use any of the kind of other textures. The only one we need is the one to give us these perforations and that texture is the alpha map. And essentially what this does is wherever it's white it will leave the kind of material on the object and wherever it's black it will cut out a little hole for us in that object. So you can download it from this website here for free and once you've got that we're going to go back to our material. I'm going to open up our V-Ray Asset Editor here. Now I've already made a metal material if you want to see how you make metal materials please go and watch the video I put together on metal material creation in V-Ray and I'll put a link to that in the description. So once you've made that we're going to apply that to our screen object here. So apply that to selection so we've got it on our screen and then we're going to go to the opacity setting here and click on the little map option which is the kind of checkerboard next to opacity and we're going to drop in that alpha map we've downloaded so this one here first and we'll drop it in there and you can see a preview of that map and what this would do is you can see in the preview there it will cut out wherever that image is black will cut out sort of small black holes all over our metal so let's have a render of this and see what that is looking like when we render it out so there you can see we've got the holes now appearing in our metal material there. Now it's very large at the moment and that's because I haven't texture mapped it. So always good to kind of make sure your images and materials are properly texture mapped. Just select the area you want to texture map, go to your properties setting. Under the texture mapping icon here we're going to select box mapping. And I'm just going to draw out a sort of box. And don't worry about the size to begin with, hit enter when you've drawn it out. And then if you go to the XYZ size, you can control the size of the map from here as well, once you've applied that box mapping. So I'm just going to do a thousand by a thousand by a thousand there. And then let's go back to our preview and see what that now looks like. So it should be a lot smaller now. And we can always dial it in and out, but there we go. So that's looking quite nice. So that's really quickly how to make a perforated metal and pretty much for any other material it's the same process. So I could switch out this opacity map I'm using. I'm going to cut this one and we're going to insert a new one here. I've got a kind of selection of these maps below here. So you can see we've got some sort of larger more sort of lozenge shaped ones or kind of a chain link fence. So if I drop one of these in for instance you'll see then that updates with that. So all it needs is a black and white map to give you this perforations. You can even make your own versions of these maps in Photoshop. If you just give yourself a kind of white background and then just draw on in black over top wherever you want to cut out the shape, make sure it's at 100%. And you can kind of create your own maps however you want them to be. If you had a custom perforation you wanted to use, and if we just save that as a JPEG image, we can import this in as well. So we're going to go back to our Rhino file and let's drop in that new map we've just made. So it's very flexible in how you can use this process to create your own sort of perforations and style. And we can re-render that and have a look at it. And there you can see I've got my own custom perforation on that object. So it's a very quick and easy technique to use and it can be used for a whole manner of uses. So I've done a few examples here to show you what this can be used for as well. Here we have a chain linked fence. Here we have a wicker basket you can get as well. 
And also here's an example of creating a timber sort of lattice structure with this technique. So this technique is very versatile and you can use it on a whole number of materials that you need to create quick perforations or holes in without having to go in and model them in detail. So I hope that tutorial was useful. If you want any other videos on material creation in V-Ray or Rhino, please check out the videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.